Hi, Karen here. So, I bet you've already heard that gymnastics coach Maggie Haney was suspended for eight years. I had a handful of parents reach out to me after the news just to say thanks for doing my part. I did report her to USA Gymnastics and Safe Sport uh, after I heard like the sixth complaint. We do have a duty to report. Um, you know, when multiple families tell you the same story on different occasions, you know there's truth to it. I just wish more coaches would be more comfortable reporting abusive situations. Eventually, all the abusive coaches will be flushed out. Please understand that not all gymnastics coaches are abusive. There are so many great coaches here in the tri-state area and throughout the USA. Just be sure to visit at least three gyms before you make a commitment to one. Make sure you're very comfortable in the atmosphere. Talk to the other parents. Observe the team kids and the class kids. Learn whether they're happy, whether they're goal-oriented. See if they have a lot of injured kids sitting on the side. Look to see if they're sad or, you know, anything else that you, you know, think is important. Allow your child to be part of the decision on which gym you commit to. Your child must be comfortable with the coaches, the atmosphere, and the equipment. And if there's ever a reason your child does not want to go to the gym, find out why. There is always a reason, and it's usually a very good reason. And believe your child if they say they're being abused. But also know that gymnastics coaches must be demanding because there is a safety factor involved. When your child is on that balance beam or swinging on those bars, their safety is literally in their hands. So your child must be clear-minded, able to focus, and strong, and able to follow directions just to remain safe. Yes, progress and success are also important, but the safety factor is key. So talk to your child. Allow them to be coached. Encourage them to try their best, but pull them out if you suspect abuse or misconduct. Please remember that asking a child to perform to the best of their ability is not abuse. Asking your child to focus is not abuse. Lack of focus causes accidents, and coaches and gymnasts do not want to have injuries. Hard work is not abuse, but extreme numbers of repetitions may be abuse. Leaving a child on an event like on the beam while they're fatigued and unable to perform a skill after the rest of the team has moved on, that's abuse. Yelling at a child for unsafe behavior such as horseplay after they've been told nicely not to do that unsafe thing that they are doing, that's not abuse. That's a safety issue. Asking a child to take a break after they've tried something several times unsuccessfully. That's not abuse. That's an opportunity for the child to go and get a sip of water and then come back and refocus and try again. Yelling at a child for a mistake, that's abuse. Putting a child down, screaming in their face, going overboard, punishing a child for mistakes, cursing at them, that's all abuse. And forcing them to remove medical devices or train on an injury, that's abuse as well. You'll know it's abusive if you see it. Don't be afraid of a good work ethic, but do remove your child from any abusive situations. Just follow your gut instinct when it comes to your child's training. And best of luck with your child's gymnastics journey. It can be a long one, it can sometimes be difficult, but it can also be very rewarding. So let me know how I can help you and your child. You can find me at KarenGoler.com. Best of luck.